sometimes it is more about the journey than the destination. And in this case, it is both, actually. Driving to the Grand Canyon can be an adventure unto itself, and today we are coming from the east. We cross the Colorado River at Marble Canyon and drive by the magnificent Vermilion Cliffs. But the landscape is going to change drastically very soon as we enter Kaibab National Forest, which is the gateway to the north rim of the Grand Canyon. The last time I was here in February, because of its high elevation, it was a winter wonderland, and the North Rim Road was closed. What a difference a season or two make. Here we are now in early summer and it is a totally different experience. As we arrive in Jacob Lake, we're still 45 miles from the North Rim. It is a beautiful drive and there is a lodge and a campground and services more or less at the halfway point, but I've been able to secure a site inside the National Park. Only one night though, so we'll make the most of it. And we have arrived. There is a welcome sign behind all those people. Trust me, it's there. Let's make the line to go inside the park and uh, I'll see you on the other side. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV. wherever I Cause I'm free in my RV. Yeah. Do you have a park pass? I do. It says guilty as charged. It does. Okay. All right. <laughs> when you get up to the ranger, wave the maps at her. That means I checked your pass. All right. Thank you. You bet. Do you have a reservation at the campground? Yes, yes, I do. 11 and a half miles ahead. All right. Thank you. Perfect. You're welcome. Have a nice day. It looks like we have a welcoming committee. That's just perfect. A herd of bison. Okay, kids, don't get too close to the bison. This is another one of those places where I have attempted to come several times. It wasn't the original plan for my 2014 Four Corners road trip, but it got preempted when we fell in love with Lake Powell and decided to slow down and stay there. Then, last winter, it was winter, the road was closed. But now, we are finally here. Well, it says closed for lunch, so... I had to wait until 1 p.m., but eventually I was able to check in, and here's my pull-through site. Well, here we are. Very pleasant here at the campground, pretty quiet. I have the, the Wii Boost on because we have very marginal uh, cellular coverage here. I mean, barely enough to to make phone calls, but but that's not why we're here. We're here to see the canyon, and that's where we're gonna go right now. By the way, my site pretty off level. I had to use three Lego blocks. Oh, that's a very big fire ring. By the way, very very pleasant, cool day here in the North Rim. No need for air conditioning. I mean, the car says 74. It feels a little warmer than 74. But, yeah, it's very nice. We have about six hours of daylight left, so let's take advantage of every minute, shall we? There's the canyon right next to us. The 
visitor center parking lot busy as expected. This is one of the most popular national parks after all, and it is summer. I can only imagine how it must be at the South Rim. Let's walk towards the visitor center. Go ahead, check that out. I don't know if you can see it, but... That is part of the Grand Canyon. Here we go. This is it. On video, it never looks quite as good as it looks in person, but take my word, it is awe-inspiring. And we haven't even gotten to the good part yet. This is part of the lodge here, very nice. I haven't seen anything yet that comes close to the grandness of the Grand Canyon. The first thing we're gonna do here is the Bright Angel Point Trail. Short, easy, paved, about a quarter mile one way, but still, pretty spectacular views. View. As you can see, pretty easy trail, mostly downhill, which means going back is going to be mostly uphill, but one step at a time, right? This is the view from the end of the trail. Very windy out here, by the way. In the distance, the San Francisco peaks, the Red Butte, and the Coconino Plateau, the South Rim, 14 miles away and 1,000 feet lower. It is truly breathtaking. Grand Canyon, no matter which rim, never gets old. And I had never been to the North Rim here. And as you can see, the view is absolutely spectacular. The large crevice is Bright Angel Canyon crossing the Grand Canyon almost perpendicularly. The South Rim on the other side. Is that the trail that goes to the South Rim? Hmm, must be. The Bright Angel Trail. One of these days, I intend to hike the Grand Canyon rim to rim. One of these days. The North Rim here, as expected, much greener, with a considerably larger amount of vegetation when compared to the more barren South Rim. I was gonna go up there, but really, how much different is the view going to be, right, from just up there? So, we have uh, th four hours of daylight, so let's see what we can do.
called the Transept Trail and it hugs the rim of the canyon, basically that back there. That's the, the lodge. And the views are absolutely spectacular. So if you go that way, that leads to the campground, but let's check out the view from this uh, vista point here real quick. Few places in the world are uh, as awe-inspiring as the Grand Canyon. Well, yeah, I decided to go for a little hike in the woods because that's what you do, right? We are back. We are back by the parking lot. Grand Canyon Lodge. Oh, it is historic. 1928 to 1932. We are there's a visitor center. Yep, they have a 3D relief map of the area. Let's check out the lodge. Take a look at this room. Actually, let me get closer to the window so I can show you. Yeah, this is what I call enjoying the Grand Canyon in style. Taking in the breathtaking views from behind these oversized windows. Oh, I found the saloon. How about a Grand Canyon Trail Hike IPA? here at the lodge and I think I think I figure out where the village is and once you see it you can't unsee it it's right there yes that would be the Grand Canyon village on the south rim and we've been there before it's the most visited part of the park kind of hard to distinguish the individual structures like the Bright Angel Lodge or El Tovar but hey it's like 10 miles away at this point. The lodge here, very nice. Maybe I'll come back to see the sunset. All right, let's go explore. This is called Vista Encantada, which in Spanish would mean enchanted view. This is Vista Encantada and we're overlooking kind of towards the northeast. So I wonder, I'm gonna look it up in the map. Because those look like the Vermilion Cliffs out there. Maybe they're not, but let's go to the next one. We're gonna go to the very end of the road, which has the Angel's Window and Cape Royal Overlooks. And then we'll turn around and see as many of the other overlooks as we can. Let's see the view from here. Wow. Should I get closer to the edge? Hmm, what do you think? A little closer? That's amazing. Wow. Yeah, I had forgotten how much I love the Grand Canyon. And for me, it is kind of frustrating that regular photography can't really duplicate the experience of being here. I can see the Colorado River through Angel's window. Let's go all the way over there. 
I'm gonna do Angel's Window first and then Cape Royal. There it is, the Colorado. The Grand Canyon is definitely one of my favorite places on Earth. On both sides of the trail, we're looking into the abyss. Reminds you of Angel's Landing a little bit? <laughs> Much safer though. By the way, as the sun goes down, the temperature is starting to get cooler here. It's probably high 60s right now. With the wind, you really feel it. But um, okay, I think we're close to the end now. I don't really know what that place is called, but I'm gonna go out on a limb here and call it Instagram Point. This is like one of the widest points. The Grand Canyon. As you can see, the view is absolutely spectacular. You can't see it with this camera, but the, the desert view Watch Tower is over there on that higher point. Go to the to the Instagram point. That's what I'm calling it. And then uh, we're going back. By the way, the view to this side equally spectacular. They just they should cut all these trees off so we could see it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Of course, I'm kidding. Let's go, let's go to that other viewpoint. By the way, that's the Colorado, Colorado River down there. One hundred and eighty degree view from here is absolutely spectacular. It would have been nice to fly the drone from here, but as you know, National Park not permitted. Let's start heading back, but first, one last look. This is called Walhalla Overlook. It is going to be very hard to top Point Royal, but it's still a great view. This is actually probably the best view of Angel's Window. Of course, we were just up there a few minutes ago. Let's check out the Walhalla Meadows Pueblo ruins here, apparently dating back 900 years. There is evidence that there were tall walls built out of rock, and remains of adobe and beams suggest that there were rooftop entrances that people accessed by ladders. I'm telling you, archaeology, fascinating stuff. How they figure all that stuff out. Number five here, apparently, storage room. Mm, check it out, fire pit. The sun's getting lower in the west, meaning our day is quickly coming to an end. 
But there are still two more points I want to check out. This one here is called the Roosevelt Point. We're supposed to be able to see the fault line between the Kaibab Plateau and the Marble Platform, but my eyesight is not what it used to be. Or perhaps never was. Let me know if you see it. This is our final stop today, Point Imperial, the highest point on the North Rim. Here we are, looking east onto the marble platform. This is pretty much the eastern end of the Grand Canyon. From here on, it becomes much narrower, eventually turning into Marble Canyon. That is amazing. Let's go back to the lodge so we can see the sunset from there. And everybody's gathered here, but there's no sun. No spectacular sunset today. It is behind the cloud, except at the San Francisco peaks. Kind of a bummer, huh? All of a sudden, a glimmer of hope. The sun's coming out from behind the clouds. This is definitely a fitting end to our short time here in the North Rim. But the Grand Canyon never gets old, so we will return one of these days. Maybe do a hike or two. There's the distant South Rim illuminated by the last few rays of golden sunlight in what is another glorious desert sunset. morning to las vegas we go enjoy the ride okay the north rim i'm gonna say equally as impressive as the south rim which up, up until now was my favorite um, 
but do go to that point royal if you ever come here because that's the grand view that, that, you, that you see like like the the widest point and the other point the cape royal and the point imperial where is the deepest those two and then do the view from the from the lodge and that that little uh, the, the, the the angels landing no it's something in bright angel the bright angel trail because it's beautiful it's it's, it's, a, it's probably the most picturesque view uh, all of them are good so um uh, definitely positively impressed with the north canyon the north uh, north rim very nice very nice campground too and that's all i have to say about that There's no one at the sign right now, so I'm gonna take a picture here real quick. This is the other campground, the moat, about 26 miles from the North Rim. We continue, driving to the west. Well, hello there, Moo. About, about Las Vegas we've been there before a couple of times and I'm, I'm, I might take a break from vlogging too much in Las Vegas unless we do something truly unique and interesting yeah I don't really know exactly how much video there is going to be of this so-called uh, Sin City because as you know what happens in Vegas driving to the west into the sunset driving to the west Level is my motto Into the thin air I might see a bear Nothing like the West doesn't compare Driving through the West In my RV Is where I wanna be And we are back In the land of the Joshua Tree As I was saying about Las Vegas Ely is flying in tonight and we are going to celebrate Independence Day and both our birthdays together. So I might put the camera down a little, but whatever I manage to film, I promise I will share with you on the next episode. And there it is, the unmistakable skyline of the Strip. By the way, I want to revisit Death Valley. We'll try and escape the triple-digit temperatures by going to Mount Charleston. We might experience a tremor or two, and of course, we are here in July. Tomorrow is Independence Day, so we might go see the fireworks. Driving to the west Driving to the west Driving to the west As we drive on Boulder Highway, 
I can already see our destination. We're gonna stay at the KOA at Sam's Town, same place we stayed at last winter. See you on the next one! Riding in my 